Hello and welcome to another DFR Morris Miner video. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Torque Pro ELM327 OBD fault code reader. So basically this is a fault code reader which connects to your mobile phone through a Bluetooth connection. So you do not need an internet connection to do this. All you have to do is download the Torque app from the App Store and then find your vehicle's OBD2 socket which in my case on my Dacia Duster is in the glove compartment all you do is open the box And this is it. It's simply a small computer device, Torque Elm 327 Pro, with the pin connectors there. It's a standard Euro connector, so it should fit every car made relatively recently. So, next step is do not start the engine, plug this into the OBD2 socket. Okay, now it's in the OBD2 socket, it will have a red light, which means it's not connected. Next, go onto your mobile phone, make sure your Bluetooth is turned on, and open the Torque app on your phone. Once this has happened, it should connect automatically and you'll get your green light come up briefly and then it will flash which means it's connected if you can't find it if you go into bluetooth devices you'll find the torque 327 listed so then start the engine Once you've done this, you will see the green light to stay on and then it will begin to flash, which means it is in working order. On your phone, you will now see this screen. Basically, it shows me the revs of the engine. If I rev, as you can see, they're building up. What you can do with this, if you click fault codes, tap here to scan for fault codes, give it around a minute, then it will either come up saying no faults found, or you may have faults. I had a mass airflow sensor fault. Basically any fault codes the car has, this will come up and tell you the code and it will also tell you what the fault is generally. What you can also do is go to Fuel Economy. That's an add-on to this app that you can get. You can drive with this on and it tells you what fuel consumption you're getting and also what emissions the car has produced. You can then click real time information. You've got your revs per minute. You've got your throttle, acceleration, your speed, the vacuum pressure in the intake manifold, and your coolant temperature. Just to give an example, this car does not have a coolant gauge, but this can still show you what temperature the coolant is. Obviously the engine's still got a sensor, even although there's no gauge in the dashboard. Swipe to the side, you can do benchmarks. Here we've got emissions readiness. It warns you if there's a problem. Com components quite often says incomplete. That could just mean that there's some components that this doesn't quite recognise for this particular car. But, and these not available, this car doesn't have that. 
but everything that says complete means there's no problem with these items. You can also move back to the main screen here and get this which shows you various details about detailed information of the car. You get things like acceleration again, coolant intake, pressure and PSI, revs a minute, load, engine load, 27% idle for me just now, intake manifold temperature, 9 degrees, timing advance, throttle, miles to gallon, boost. Average speed difference, odometer, mileage of the car, and various details. And then if you click the return button, you come back to the main screen. You also go down here, you get adapter status. It shows you there's no problem with the adapter. You also get graphs that you can set up for various detailed information and also test results. That warns you if after you do your OBD2 scan, that warns you if there's any O2 sensor problems. So that's basically the app, it gives you lots of detail. I would highly recommend this, uh, and it's a fantastic, sm for the price, you can't beat it. Okay, thanks for watching, see you in the next video.